Hey everybody, Bill Rombach back here at the creek in the middle of nowhere. Uh, we came in here, we knew there was a little group of beavers here and we were after them. The landlord wanted them out, so we're happy to oblige with that. Uh, we had this den over here and that's a nice deep pool there. So we knew the beavers were hanging out in this area. Um, up on the bank, lots of cut willows just everywhere. And uh, I thought at first there was probably going to be four or five beavers here. One little family group. Well, uh, I don't have the second video. We've been here four days, I believe. I don't have the second video loaded where we had, and we got beaver number two as a young one. And the first one was a young one. Now uh, last night we got both of the adults uh, side by side. Uh, traps were about 20 yards apart. Uh, we tried two different lures, uh, actually three different lures in four days. And last night we went back with uh, something I just wanted to try. Uh, trapping North American Fur Bearers, the book by Stanley Hobacker. Uh, in that book, I mean, we read that book all the time when we were kids in school. We talked about it, me and my buddies, my trapping buddies, when we were 12 years old, you know, and uh, sitting around the lunch table at school. Uh, probably read that book more than I, I should have. I probably read it a lot more than my math book or my English book. But uh, back uh, then, uh, uh, now I, I, I still have a copy of the book. Uh, read it all the time. I love that book. And uh, it's just a really neat book about our heritage. And so in, in, in that book, there was a, there's a lures section that he had in there. And he's actually got uh, lures, different lures, and the actual ingredients in those lures. So <clears throat> two days ago, we took the beaver lure that, out of that book and we put it together. And uh, last night, that's what we used. We added some of that to each set here. We had just two sets here and uh, boom, boom, both adults side by side at 20 yards. So, uh, the old methods still work really well. I mean, uh, uh, there's the proof. Anyways, you know, I've been told too, you know, by some of my buddies that trap and, and that, you know, sometimes they get lure shy, which they do, because I see it on my own line where, you know, one smell will just turn them on for a while. You might miss them uh, and then, uh, or they just don't want to come to that smell no more. You change it and it kind of picks up again. And then he said, you know, just add a little, a little different smell to your, your set. Well, uh, it works. Um, so the two adults are out of here. We got two of the young out of here. We're going to leave the traps one more night just to see what, see what happens. And then, uh, we may be done here moving on to the next spot, but, uh, that's it for today. Uh, if you like my video, please give me a like and uh, good trapping to you.